Hi, Stephen Webster here, and welcome to a special edition of Getting Stone with Stephen. Why is it special? Because I'm going to show you how you take this and this and end up with this. Crystal Haze is a technique that I created 29 years ago where I source unusual materials um, in different colour palettes than would be the normal that would be found in a jeweller's window. And I combine everything with quartz. This is clear quartz. So the one unifying part is that every piece of crystal haze stone is covered in a piece of faceted quartz. So what made crystal haze so unique all those years ago was that I was able to use materials that were not so much on the glamorous side, but through the technique, I was able to provide a gemstone that really was a showstopper, but without a huge investment. So it became something that people wore more for fun, for pleasure, for their wardrobe, in a way that really wasn't possible unless you spent a lot more money in traditional gemstone sense. So it all starts with the rocks. For 40 years, I've been going to the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. Everything that comes out of the earth is on show, including dinosaurs. And that's where I will find things like this crystal ball, which I'll be cutting up because it's made of silver obsidian. And silver obsidian is one of the real classic colors of crystal haze. In fact, the first piece that Madonna bought of crystal haze, which really put crystal haze on the map, was a silver obsidian piece. So that's a real classic. And then we've got this, which probably not many of you will have seen. I mean, this is a pearl. So this came from the inside of an oyster. So from this, we end up with this. How do you do that, you may well be asking. Well, I'll take a piece of this, I'll cut it into the sections that this uh, fly-by-night requires, and then over the top of those sections is where we'll put the piece of clear quartz. And the clear quartz is the key to the whole of the mystery of crystal haze, because it, it provides the magnifying glass through which you view all these opaque materials. Turquoise was one of the original pieces of material that I used when I was developing crystal haze. As you can see, it's a beautiful thing, but not so likely, I imagine, that you'd think that this, this becomes a glamorous piece of jewelry. So this is another favorite, which is called Angel Skin. It's Peruvian pink opal. You can see it's got a crust, and in here is all the material I use. And here is one that's a real stunner. This is a green agate. So this is what agate looks like without the quartz on the top. There's the back. And that's it when it's got the quartz on the top. And this is what it looks like when it's in a piece of jewelry. This is hematite. And this is an iron mineral that really doesn't look that glamorous. There's the back end of it. But when we polish it and put it under a piece of quartz, it becomes like a monochrome giant gem that you can only really describe as something that could be, I don't know, a black diamond or, or the equivalent of something that's so monochrome and yet so glamorous. So that's just a few of the, the material options that I incorporate into Crystal Haze. And over the years, I've probably used, I wanna say 20, 25 different unlikely materials in the technique. Crystal Haze really is a technique that leaves no stone unturned. So it doesn't matter what color you can ever imagine that you might want for your jewelry wardrobe, you'll find it in crystal haze.